In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Star Wars Outlaws crashing or crashes on startup error on PC or laptop. So here's how we can do it, okay? I know that error is very annoying and you've probably seen a lot of fixes online, however I'll show you two new fixes that will most likely help you play the game for longer without any crashes and issues, and I can guarantee you haven't seen these yet. So, the first thing you want to do is to actually clear the DirectX shader cache. And the way you can do this is quite simple actually. In your Windows computer, go down here to your taskbar and go to search. Now in here you want to type in cleanup and then you will be able to open up the disk cleanup tool. Now over here, this is very important, okay? As you can see, You'll, you'll be able to select the C drive or whatever drive you're using from the drop down menu. I only have the C drive, so it um, automatically opened up the C drive. And in here, you want to uncheck everything, okay? And then what you want to check is over here where it says DirectX Shader Cache. As you can see, this thing over here, press this, so DirectX Shader Cache, whatever the size of this may be. And then once you've done it, just press OK. Now pressing this will delete the entire DirectX shader cache, don't worry, this will not break your computer, nothing bad will happen, it will just help you out while trying to start and not crash the game. Once you press this, this will take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on how many megabytes or gigabytes you have of this, I just cleaned it and as you can see I only have 6.6 .6 megabytes left so I'm not going to do it yet again. So this is the first fix, okay, clean that up and then once you've done it, open up the NVIDIA control panel. You can find this in here by going to search yet again down below and typing in NVIDIA control panel. And as you can see, it's over here. Open this up and then you want to go over here on the left inside manage 3D settings. If you can see it, press this plus icon next to 3D settings and click manage 3D settings. Then over here, look for something along those lines that says shader cache. So if you scroll down, as you can see, it says shader cache size. It says driver default right now. Simply click and hover over it and then make it disabled. Okay. Now, once you do disabled, click disabled, you will then have to save changes and then reboot your computer entirely. Now, yet again, after your computer, computer boots up again, what you have to do is open up the run dialog box, which can be done through here yet again. Just type in run. There we go, under system, click run, and then you want to type in the following, okay? So, percent, user profile, percent, and then uh, kind of the backward slash, app data, and then local, and then temp. Now, the easiest way to get there is to just type in percent, temp, percent, press OK, and you'll be the exact same folder, which is this folder over here. Now from here on, I will show you what to do, but inside Word, because I just deleted this by mistake, and I don't have that folder anymore that you have to delete. So what you have to do is basically in the folder, you'll have to find and open the DX cache and the GL cache folder and delete all the items inside the folders. Now the way to find this is in here inside temp, what you want to do is first search for NVIDIA, there we go, and as you can see I don't have it because I just deleted that. Uh, once you find NVIDIA, in there you'll have DX cache and the GL cache folders. Simply open them up and delete all the items inside those folders. Now then go back to the local folder, which is the NVIDIA folder, and at that location find and open the NVIDIA Corporation folder. In here, find and open up the NV cache, so NVIDIA cache folder, and delete all the contents of that folder too. Then you can simply exit File Explorer, and then you can go back to NVIDIA Control Panel and turn on Shader Cache yet again. So I'm going to show you how to do it yet again over here. You want to go inside the NVIDIA Control Panel yet again. In a second, there we go. You will go to Manage 3D Settings, and then you want to look for Shader cache size and type it, make it driver default again, okay? So once you make it driver default again, simply save it, close that down, restart your PC and then try running up your game. So hopefully this time the game isn't crashing anymore and you can simply use it normally as you would be able to and play it without any glitches, crashes or shutdowns while trying to open it up. So I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.